welcome back welcome back welcome back to the channel y'all how y'all doing today how y'all doing today how y'all doing today y'all know what it is i've changed the name the name is if you don't know yet if you have not looked at the channel is gemini divination oracle 333 with your girl Mickey moving forward. So yeah, y'all. Um, let, thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes, everything that y'all have done for this channel. Um, you know, doing a little bit of you know remaking, reworking. You know, doing things to you know help the channel. Um, I tell a lot of people, uh, how many times has a hundred dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a ten dollar bill been made over? Making it all make sense. But y'all, I do got messages. I'm finna let y'all know what these messages are. I'm probably talking to someone that is dealing with something at a job or someone feels like they're being mistreated. It's a lot of um things going on with, you know, ethnicity. And, you know, a lot of people, when you go into jobs, they're talking about, we want to bring more diversity. We want to bring more diversity. Honestly, when they say that, they want to bring more of something that they don't have at their job. Whether you white, black, Mexican, Dominican, Puerto Rican, African, Ethiopian, all of that. UK, Canadian, people from Canada, because y'all do watch my channel. It's all appreciated. New Zealand's, y'all watch my channel too. New England, the island, Dominican Republic be watching my channel and it's all appreciated. Y'all don't know, I cannot make this channel without y'all. Like, I'm so blown away and I'm so appreciative of all the views that I've been getting. Of course, if a lot of people are like, oh, that's not a lot of views. But to me, I know I'm going to get back to where I was before, but elevating back up to that. Making that all make sense. Someone is being um, treated differently or segregated, whether it be from family, a job, friends, or whatever this is. They don't want to see you shine. See you shine brighter than them. See, when you shine brighter than someone and someone feels that you shine brighter than them, they feel you're going to take their opportunity. They feel that you're going to get the spotlight or you're going to get something before them and they done worked their whole lives to get to that situation. But God, God puts you in the situations and give you that blessing because you have been working. Regardless if it was at that job or at another job, you've been putting in work, making that all make sense. Um, anything that you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. They have that mindset. And when I think about that, I think of um, Shirley Temple or something like that. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything like they, and you're not in competition. So you're not with the no, you know, no, I can't. Yes, I can. Like you ain't going back and forth with nobody. Like they go back and forth with your wins to see if they're validated, if they're winning or not. And that's some bullshit. Making it all make sense. <clears throat> uh, we are not going to argue, y'all. We're not going to argue about what they think. We're going to let confirmation. We're going to let that be what it is. Y'all, you know, and, and, and while I'm doing this reading, y'all, I'm trying to make sure that I did my, um, you know, grocery shopping. Because honestly, when my food stamps got cut and then, you know, they were helping me out in other ways, you know, with this type of assistance. Y'all, I don't give a damn. Like when I go through things, I'm going to let y'all know, you know, I ain't one of them fake ass readers. And oh, you nah, look at here. I'm always taken care of, and it's the fact that I was able to get things that I really freaking needed. And I'm really getting that someone was going through that. Maybe you got blessed, and in your spirit team, your archangels, your ancestors reached out to the right people to get you what you needed. Moving forward, I'm getting um. Whatever you were going through with somebody. Don't try to prove yourself to no damn body. They want you to prove to them so that they can be a better you. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, y'all. I'm just saying, y'all. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm telling you, people do. People are crazy. People do shit like that, y'all. It cracked me up. It tickled me a little bit, y'all. Moving forward, y'all. Confirmation. Hold on, y'all. It's always something going on on my phone. It's like me trying to get stuff done. I'm getting like there has been a lot of distractions 
and you being able to, you know, situate things that you have going on. But it just seems like, like, dang, like, I'm really trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. And then things just trying to compromise you and trying to stop you from the things that you have going on. But y'all, things are going to get better. Well, I guess they were just telling me I didn't, I guess the corn. So something about corn, y'all, making that all make sense. Moving forward, um, I'm getting something about it's the popping off, trying to um do things to you gemini's like maybe you're around someone at work at your job at your home you know where you hire people at maybe you're a business owner something like that or someone that is working around you is very karmic it's like or this can even be a supervisor or they in tune with the people that work around you and people are around here popping off and don't want you there. So they're trying to get ways to not have you there or make it uncomfortable for you to be there just to see if you going to engage and argue with them to get or or they'll say something about you being insubordinate or something like that so that you can get fired. But I'm getting someone probably had a wrong for fire or something like that going on. And I'm getting like, do not engage. Like, honestly, when you go to work, just go to work. Do not allow yourself to think that these people out here and all, they confirmation. They trying to be in your energy so that they can see what you got going on, know your business so that they can see how they can level up or one up you. Like, these are people are who are obsessed with competition, especially if someone new on the block come in, especially if a friend, someone new on the block, and you got a friend that got a friend, and y'all are meeting each other through this person, y'all, look, be aware of that, because people will try to compete and be like, well, I'm the best friend, and I'm the best this, and ain't nobody competing. That's what you be trying to know. You're not competing. You competing with the best you, the best yourself. They don't get that. I'm getting whoever's giving you a God trying, I mean, a God. Someone is trying to give you some type of hard time, a God is going to give them something to where they not worried about what you got going on. These people are trying to send the spirit of rejection to you, but that's being sent straight back. Spirit of rejection, meaning when you at work and it's like people don't like you, don't want to be around you, heard something that was even true about you. They send in that spirit of, of, of rejection out or, or redirection or, you know, having people not come to you and go to someone else or refrain from coming around you like avoidance. Making that all make sense. If nothing is going to change in a person, a place, a business, a family isn't giving you the respect you deserve, take your good energy and your talent and your self-respect with you. That's a big mouthful of words I said, but let's reiterate. Y'all, if people are disrespecting you at your job, disrespecting you at home, disrespecting you and your family, disrespect, hell, it can be at church. People, boy, look, shut up, Mel. It be people that be at the church that be doing all this weird stuff sometimes. And, and, and sometimes I tell people, you don't have to go to church to, 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 to know who God is. Like, God is within everyone. You just got to know that. We are in his image. If I could understand. And some people, you know how they be. They refuse to see change or compromise on change. I'm getting, you can't exhaust yourself by trying to conform to what was supposed to be a lesson of self-worth. So whatever you are going through or whatever was happening, this was a lesson of self-worth. Will you allow people to confuse you? Would you allow people to come in with no compromise? Will you allow people to come in who are not going to change and you exhaust yourself to show them that you're the one and they should change? Y'all, we ain't doing that no more. It's 2024. Moving forward. You can help people when they show you they need help. I'm going to put this again for an example. You Let's say you got a friend, you got them staying with you. You told them, okay, I'll give you six months, hold your money, don't worry about it, get your shit together, woo, woo, woo. These people out here drinking, smoking, ain't thinking about putting no job applications in, on your couch, bringing company over, woo, woo, woo. And it's like, and then it's like, they not, I'm getting somebody not even being respectful. And like when they get a little bit of money, they ain't even think, they ain't thinking about the household that's been supporting them until they got what they got. 
I'm getting maybe someone had to put somebody out because they were not bettering themselves. They were not conforming to letting things go that serve no purpose. And I'm getting that you not finna be around nobody this year and moving forward who is not showing you that they're going to move forward and better themselves when they was around someone that showed them they asked to kiss. Moving forward, I got this mermaid tarot deck and I wanted to get into it, y'all. It's I shuffled them up, you know, real good, whatever. So we gonna get into them and we gonna see what's going on. We finna see what needs to be said, y'all. Got this paper right here. Just to make sure if I need to write anything down, I'll have my paper right there because I will forget. <clears throat> Thank you guys, Spirit God, Arthur, and the ancestors for clear, clairvoyant audience messages if y'all are trying to get a reading my book is open it is $55.55 if you are not a member if you are a member it is $33.33 so um let me know I'll put you on my scheduling and I'll let you know what's going on what needs to be said and I will be sending you a um a pre-recorded reading just for you it's not gonna be no weird stuff going on y'all let me put this phone on the charger for a guy Let's talk. So, Spirit, tell me what I need to see for the collection of Gemini's clear, clairvoyant, clairaudient messages. I'm getting the five of wands, some type of conflict. Maybe somebody wanted conflict with you. Somebody wanted conflict with you. I wonder why. Maybe it's a Sagittarius, Leo, and or Aries energy. What else, Spirit, for the collective of Gemini's? A Knight of Swords. So, Gemini's, it was some 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 type of conflict between you and a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or Aries, or a group of fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. What else, Spirit, for the collective of Gemini's? Clear, clear, want, clear, audience messages. Ooh! Ooh! I am getting y'all. People are conflicted by your feel of, your feel. You, how, how you feeling, your will of fortune, what you are getting, what you are receiving, y'all. They are upset. They are in their feelings because maybe all this spell work they sent to you has been backfired to them. I'm getting something about options, but I'm getting the people that were conflicted with you, thought they had options, thought that they had people to have their back. But, you know, to try to destroy you and bring you down. But you don't need nobody but God and your spirit team and your archangels and your ancestors of the highest white light. These people, mm, they worldly as hell. I'm getting, this could have been a, a couple, someone who's pregnant or someone who had a child with this person. They is probably this couple and they probably trying to have a group of people against you because you're not trying to conform to some BS or some fake fraudulent illusion what else spirit two of pentacles it's the fat gemini's that you balancing they see you balancing they see that you up here and I, maybe someone's been seeing bunnies but you balancing it's like you you it's like you moving you you persevering through whatever they thought that they was gonna send you they literally watching you they're literally watching you, y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see it. But it's sideways, but you'll see it down here, y'all. But they're literally watching you balance your life without them. And now all they can do is look and see and see and spy. I'm getting something about the hermit mode. You and hermit mode getting this money. You and her mode getting the wheel of fortune. I tell people just because you get wheel of fortune don't mean you need to flaunt and show people what you got and all of this mess. Maybe someone's birthday is on the second, or maybe someone's birthday is 75, 71, 72, 77. Maybe someone was born. In 57, 75, I'm getting a page of swords. So maybe some type of, maybe someone is getting messages or maybe someone is seeing that you doing good. 
and they can't believe it. These were the people that tried to come against you. They tried to come up against you and then get other people to try to come up against you because you're not going to be with it. Mm. Moving forward, nine of swords. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe it's some type of message coming in about a situation dealing with the nine of swords, y'all. Maybe you were dealing with somebody and they broke your heart or they betrayed you. It could have even been family, y'all, because you know how they get down. Shut up. Uh-huh. Maybe it was some type of failure in a situation, y'all. Maybe it was maybe it was some type of failure in a situation that you had with these people. Maybe I'm getting like someone is getting some type of message that you doing good after a failed relationship with them. Like maybe they starting to see it's them. It ain't you. What else, spirit? Clear, clear one. Clear audience messages for the collective of Gemini's. There's too many spirit. It's about seven. It's still sticky a little bit. What else, spirit? Clear, clear one. Clear audience messages. I am getting the Empress. You are the Empress. Maybe your birthday's on the third. Maybe you 39. 41 was born in 93 maybe you're pregnant maybe you got new ideas coming but i'm getting that you're in hermit mode and you're and you're elevating your guard is up but you still juggling and making things right maybe you're a multitasker or you're multitasking and you're taking care of business and you taking care of your business at home and priorities they around here focused on you how they how they taking care of their business and they focus on what you doing what else spirit clear clear one clear audience messages the world <laughs> oh my goodness what else spirit it's new. It's things coming. It's overall, it's a whole bunch of new things that you're experiencing, that you're going to experience. It's things coming for you. They see the progression. They see where you were when you were with them and where you are when you are by yourself, doing it by yourself. I'm getting the sun. Boy, I'm not playing major arcana. You're doing major things. Major things are happening, and they can't believe you did it by yourself when people were making them believe that you couldn't even do it by yourself. Lies. Queen of Swords right here. You got Queen of Swords right here, y'all. Queen of Swords right here. I'm not playing, y'all. We right here. We getting all of this stuff, and then I'm getting the Emperor. I'm getting maybe... You're in a relationship, finna be in a relationship. Maybe you're finna have a relationship after healing, and this is gonna be your emperor. It's like you the queen of swords, you're the empress, you every good queen, empress, high priestess in the day. And you being a high priestess makes this a plus because you can get yourself out of trouble and not be so blindsided by the world and the fleshly things of the world. But y'all, let me see what else. Let me see what I need to see and what's to y'all. Y'all know I got to get to you. I got to get to you. I got to get to you. What else, spirit, do I need to see? Put these cards up. Where's what's tea? Here we go. Here we go. What's tea? Spirit clear. Clairvoyant. Clairaudient messages for the collective of Gemini's. What do I need to see? That was too many. Someone looking you up. Oh, didn't I tell you? We're going to put them all at the top of the deck. That's the first card I saw. They looking you up. They trying to figure out what you what you got going on. They trying to figure out how you doing it. Like they trying to see if you going to crack or, you know, like they, they think you're doing it the wrong way. They Like they think that you're doing it by selling your soul, selling your body, scamming and you not doing none of that you doing it how you need to be doing it because god is involved god is the head of your life 
I'm just saying. They always judging. There's a lot of judging going on that will be judged. Maybe there was a romantic affair going on, y'all. Some type of a romantic affair was going on. Maybe it was some type of person that they was dealing with that was giving them they, they, they sexy time fix. It was probably, it was a secret lover. It ain't no probably. It was. I'm not going to play with y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. Because one thing I don't like about some people that be on YouTube, they'll give you a cliffhanger. We ain't doing no hip, cliff, hip, cliff, hip hangers over here. This is what we doing. I'm getting something about divination abuser. So I'm getting someone that's been having a romantic affair um, with you. I'm getting, if you're a man, the other man has been doing divination to figure out what you're doing or the other woman is into divination and has been doing divination on you to see what you're doing. This is a person that this person comes to for a fix, not for love, not for, they go to them for they fix. Wham, bam, thank you, sir. Ma'am, give me my pork chop sandwich and going home. That's it. Moving forward, what else spirit for the collective Gemini? The person is watching. They feel as you as competition. They're trying to end something. Getting evidence, proof their facts. Someone's trying to screenshot or maybe someone is screenshotting a divination abuser or maybe someone's finding out the person that they was dealing with was doing divination on you. What else spirit for the collective Gemini? I'm getting moved in silence. So maybe somebody was being quiet about a romantic love affair, but the emotions of people that people need to understand will come out when they really want to be with you. And then someone tired of playing, you know, cat and mouse and hiding in the shadows while they do what they want to do. Uh-uh. So I'm going to so give in that situation. What else we for the collective of Gemini's? Clear, clairvoyant, clear audience messages. Oh! Didn't I say something about a third party, multiple lovers, choices because of this sexy fix they needed? This secret lover is probably something at a job or this secret person is at the job and this person at the job knows that they have someone at home, but they were just trying to play their part or trying to do something in divination so that they can get the person that they want. Mm -hmm. What else, spirit? That, I don't like that. Why people can't you just get their own person? There's a million people out here. They just, mm, thief. So I'm getting something about maybe someone is getting evidence about someone being a thief. Or maybe someone was playing somebody at the job. Or maybe someone was taking advantage of you, Gemini's, and you were dealing with somebody at your job. Or the person that you're dealing with, you don't know who they're dealing with because the person they're dealing with is the person that they work around or in the department that they are in. And this person is trying to move in silence about it. I'm telling it. And I'm going to spill all of it. Spill all the things. Let's spill it. Moving forward. Broke ass. So somebody who was in this romantic love affair. Somebody that is moving in silence. And ain't letting someone know that they ain't got no money. Somebody, confirmation, somebody is dealing with somebody thinking that they have money and they don't. They were in the relationship because they felt as if they was in a relationship with this person that they break them off and give them money because that's what it is about being in a relationship with someone caring about somebody. But this person was in it for their own fix and that was it. Moving forward, what else spirit for the collective of Gemini's? Clear, clear, one their audience messages for the collective. What else, Spirit? I am getting girl fight, y'all. It's going to be some type of girl fight. Somebody was dealing with more than one person at the job or somebody found out who they were dealing with and they came up to their job. Maybe someone was trying to figure out where the money was going or maybe someone got upset because the other person was promised money that they didn't get and they wasn't being honest and being and they were being quiet about them not having money and this person finna show up like, hey, you promised me this, you were supposed to give me this or maybe someone took something, stole something and somebody finna pull up. What else, Spirit, for the collective? I'm 
married for money, y'all. So somebody is in a relationship with someone because of money. Somebody feels like they don't know where the money is going to. They trying to defend their their position in this relationship. So someone came to the job and someone tried to do something or someone tried to do something to whoever this person is. I feel like this. Of course, if the other woman knows that y'all in a relationship with the man or the woman ain't trying to stop the relationship, then that's the issue that you need to have more with him. But if he knew and she was just playing in your face, all in your face, like, yeah, girl, yeah, boy, my guy, and they was really sleeping with the person that you was dealing with, that's some BS. Someone, okay, something about no facts. So, I'm getting something about someone's probably telling someone that they ain't got no facts. Bottom of the deck, always partying. Maybe someone's always making shit up, never has facts, always drunk, always got a bottle or a beer or something to swing in their hand with it on ice. This person is clout hungry. They ain't got no true facts about things. I'm getting that someone is trying to blame you and say that you married this person for money. But then and yet this person is dealing with the, the this is the secret, the secret person. This person is literally trying to tell you you with this person for money, but you was with this person before they had it. And they came around when they had it. Y'all, we gotta make it make sense. We making these people's situations and what they saying make sense. Let someone talk long enough and they're gonna tell you what's going on. <clears throat> I'm getting rejected. So someone feels rejected. Maybe um, I'm getting this person that you were dealing with had to make a choice to be what you were with them. But they still going to step out and do what they want to do three months from now after they feel like the coast is clear. Maybe the person that you were dealing with, um, they rejected the person that, that was giving them this little quick fix because they knew that they were going to mess up and uproot everything in their life. And I'm getting that. All this person that they were dealing with, they just clout hungry. All they is is clout hungry. They trying to get evidence to talk shit. Someone ain't got no facts, y'all. I'm telling you right now, these people are being weird. But thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes. Thank y'all for everything that y'all done for this channel. If you're trying to hit me up for a reading, hit me up. My book is open. I do have a scheduler. I bought a schedule. So um, if y'all are trying to get readings, I will put y'all in my book. You know, I'm going to be doing uh, readings from 9 a.m. in the morning till 10.30 p.m. at night. Those are my times. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes. Until the next one, y'all, peace, love, prosperity, and protection.